Packers look like they're going to be stuck down in the infield for just a few minutes and they'll have to they're going to have to wait just a few minutes it looks like looks like Wendell Durr is down there as the field Mr. Wow this is going to be something here right. see class light models here we go Mr. Sean Taylor in the number 83 car, Stephen Bryant, Nick Kirkus, Shane Taylor, Riley Kaysen, Victor Matthews, Brenton Coots, and Colin Brinkley. All right, how about that number 83 car? Sean Taylor to the inside of the 12 car. Stephen Bryant, he's Adam Moultrie, Georgia. He's working the high side of the racetrack right here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, side by side, down the front straightaway. How about that number 20K, and Nick Kirkus, he's out of Uly, Florida. Car looks good, he's down on the bottom. How about the number two, they're three wide down there. Three wide down the back straightaway, last time by. I think I got full moon fever too. How about the number 20 of Nick Kirkus to the lead here tonight? Driving out of Uly, Florida. Shaking and baking to the front of the pack here tonight. Mr. Stephen Bryant at 12B trying to make something happen. Now we've got a caution flag out to number 82. Like Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor around in turns one and two. Had a rough week. Mr. Taylor been pretty sick. Uh, actually a short-term hospital stay. And making his way back here tonight. Not wanting to miss a race. I believe he's been in the hospital, you know, almost a week late. You know, and, uh, I saw him earlier tonight down in the pits. He's one of them old school racers, and you're not going to keep him away from the racetrack. So, all right, we'll try to put this full moon fever behind us and get moving forward here tonight. So right now, two laps complete for this E-Class late model division. Nick Kirkus, Stephen Bryant, Sean Taylor. Shane Taylor is going to have to drop to the back of the pack. Victor Matthews will assume that position. Brenton Kuntz, Riley Kaysen, and Colin Brinkley. All right, ladies and gentlemen, green flag back in the air for this new class of competition. Brought to you by Reed Meadows. All right, Nick Kirkus in that 20K down there. Drops to the bottom side of the racetrack. How about Mr. Stephen Bryan right there? Air too wide back there for position. Sean Taylor on the high side of the racetrack. The 79 of Victor Matthews. Matthews with the preferred line. He's going to drift up in front of Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor, no stranger to All Tech Raceway. He'll drop it up to the wall up here, ladies and gentlemen, and dive down to the bottom side of the racetrack. That's a patented trailer Taylor move here. He's utilizing the five-star plumbing Taylor trailer, number 83 here tonight. But look at racing Riley Kaysen in that number 28 car trying to make something happen here. Woo! How about it? Racing Riley to the inside of Williams. Here comes Riley Kaysen. Riley Kaysen to the inside of the number 79 car, Williams. Sean Taylor right there in that third position up front. It's still Nick Kirkus and Stephen Bryant. Kirkus with a commanding lead on this first of two heat races here tonight for the Reeds Metal Seek Slate Model Division. Nick Kirkus, strong car here tonight. That number 20 KN 12 B. Stephen Bryant looking pretty good behind him. Sean Taylor in third. Victor Matthews, Brenton Coots in that good position. All right, here we go. Right flag in the air for the driver. 
Out at UNV Florida in the number 20 tag, Nick Kirkus and the 12B Animal Tree, Georgia. Hanging in, but how about the number 79 car, Victor Williams, hard in the turn three and four wall down there. White flag in here, Williams still moving. He'll take the white, and here come the checker flag for your leader caution flag. Wow, not sure what was going on there. Wow, that was a close call right there for your leader. Heat race number one action. Out on the speedway. Race control trying to, oh, looks like we're gonna go green here. That was a, a little bit of an odd start here tonight. Nick Kirkus not waiting for anything there. He'll jump on the gas, lead him down into turns one and two. Kirkus down the back straightaway, Stephen Bryant right there. Side-by-side -side battle before the brothers. Sean Taylor down on the bottom side of the racetrack. Up on the high side, it's going to be Mr. Shane Taylor. Shane hard on the gas. Nick Kirkerson for the win. Bryant second. And Shane Taylor third. Sean Taylor fourth. Brenton Coots fifth. And Riley Kaysen going to bring it home sixth here tonight. That's going to do it for your first Reed's Metal C-Class late model division win here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the cars will make the hard. The top three will make the hard left-hand turn down pit road but the driver at Uly, florida he can hear you in the car ladies and gentlemen give it up for mr nick kirkus for his heat race win here tonight give him a big round of applause Of Fort White, Florida, racing out of the shops of Nevin Ganey. It's going to be Mr. Arthur Conquest in the number 78 on the outside of him in the 12 M. That is going to be Mr. Zach McDaniel out of Jacksonville, Florida. Inside of road, number two, fresh off a of win last time out at All Tech Raceway. That's going to be the 2080 to Brandon Elwood outside of Brandon in the 04E. That's going to be Mr. Earl Boyette of Bainbridge, Georgia. Nevin Ganey in the 17N starting on the inside of road three. Cage Griffin out of Folkson, Georgia on the 07. Then it's going to be Colby Boyette and Mr. Tom Smith. Green flag in the air here for heat race action number two. Lot of damage here on the front straightaway, ladies and gentlemen. Scattered, smothered, and covered here tonight on the front straightaway. Looks like Tom Smith is going to avoid it. Nevin Ganey, a little bit of damage on that number seven car. Bring him to green. Conquest with already one win on the season out here. Early on in the season, Arthur. He'll fire down there in turns three and four. He'll take them down in the turns one and two. Here comes Brandon Elwood. Brandon Elwood, your Reed C-Class late model winner last time out. Here comes Nevin Ganey, the driver out of Fort White, Florida, up into that third spot. Here comes Cage Griffin. He's going to battle back down to the bottom side of the racetrack, down the long back straightaway here at All Tanger Raceway. Side by side for the lead up front conquest on the high side. Brandon Elwood, the driver out of Ocala, Florida, down on the bottom side of the racetrack. They're still side by side for one and two, side by side for three and four. Cage Griffin digging on the bottom side of the racetrack. Nevin Ganey up on the high side. Down in the turns, number three and four. Arthur Conquest drives it right up to the fence up there. He'll keep it hung out high, wide, and handsome. And gains about 10 car length advantage on second place. Now, here comes Cage Griffin. Look at that driver out of Folkestone, Georgia, down on the bottom side of the racetrack. He slips up in front of the number 20 AD of Brandon Elwood. How about Cage up into the second position? Nevin Ganey's going to try to make something happen back there. He's up on the high side of the racetrack as well. Nobody has anything for Arthur Conquest in this one. He's on the line that he likes around all tech he's raced around this racetrack for years with it with its configuration of asphalt and dirt he has just been successful around here in both types of cars conquest now he's going to get to two sticks in the air oh that was halfway ladies and gentlemen excuse me halfway Halfway for Conquest, stretching it out. Here comes Ganey to the inside of Cage Griffin. Griffin going to keep his line in the turns one and two. Drives that car straight through the corner. Nevin Ganey slides through in that number seven kryptonite. Can he run down Arthur Conquest with just 
under three laps to go here at All Tech for your second heat race here tonight. Conquest still up on that high side of the racetrack. Cage Griffin down at the bottom. The high side dominant here tonight. These drivers are going to have to sit down and work that bottom side of the track in. It's available to race on if they'll get down there and do it. Nevin Ganey, fastest car on the racetrack with a 21.8. Arthur Conquest with a 22.3. White flag in the air for Arthur Conquest. Can he hold off Ganey for one half mile? Ganey, hard charging, drives her in hard down there and turns one and two. Arthur Conquest not letting anything get in between him and the floor pan. He's got that thing hammered down the back straight away. Got that big foot all the way in the gas pedal. Here he comes off turn four. Checker flag in the air. Arthur Conquest in for your second. Reed's medal C-Class late model win. Nevin Ganey going to finish second. And Cage Griffin third. So Ganey, a hard charger in that one, but Arthur Conquest pulls out the win here tonight. Elwood's gonna finish fourth. It's gonna be the 07 of Cage Griffin. He's out of Folkston, Georgia. On the outside of him in the number 82, it's gonna be Shane Taylor. On the inside of row number two in the 17, and it's gonna be Mr. Nevin Ganey. Nevin Ganey out of Fort White, Florida. On the outside of him in the 12B, it's gonna be Stephen Bryant. How about the inside of row number three in the number 78 of Arthur Conquest, outside of Arthur. Heat race winner out of Yulee, Florida in the 20K. It's going to be Nick Kirkus inside of row number four in the number 83 car. That's going to be Shane Taylor. He's coming to us out of Trenton, Florida. Outside of row number four in the 2080, Brandon Elwood out of Ocala, Florida. Inside of row number five in the 5B, Brenton Kuntz. Outside of Brenton in the zero car, it's going to be Mr. Tom Smith. Inside of row number six in the 28C, it's going to be Riley Kaysen. On the outside of Riley in the 04C, it's going to be Colby Boyette. Looks like he's got that car fixed up from the heat race accident. Row number seven in the car number 26, car. Colin Brinkley on the outside of him in the 12 end. Zach McDaniel, Victor Matthews in the 79 car and the 04E of Earl Boyette make up row number eight. 20 laps the distance for the C-Class late models here at All Tech Raceway. Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate your patience here tonight. Thank you for joining us this Saturday night. And ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be some great racing here to finish out the evening. We've got four feature races, four racers. Not going to keep him down very long tonight. He starts on the front row on the outside of Cage Griffin. Cage Griffin in an 07, looking for his first win here at All Tech Raceway. Nevin Ganey in that number 17N, starting on the inside of row two, and Stephen Bryant in that 12B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's go time. Here we go, Cage Griffin. Shane Taylor, got to lead him down in the turn. To Griffin on the bottom side of the racetrack. He'll take the lead. And here we go down the back straightaway. Shane Taylor. What a good run. Cage Griffin drifts up high. Blocks the move from Taylor. Here we go in the turn one. Griffin down on the bottom side of the racetrack. Looking good. Car stepping out. Look at that three car length advantage right there on Shane Taylor. Taylor now three wide back there for that second position. Ladies and gentlemen, three wide back there towards the back of the pack also. That's Colby Boyette, Brenton Kuntz, and Tom Smith all doing battle for position back there. Here comes Nevin Gady to the inside, and Sean Taylor also in the 83, lurking on the bottom side of the racetrack. Also is that 12B of Stephen Bryant. Caution flag on the speedway right now for one car to race. Gentlemen, here we go. Green flag in the air. And Cage Griffin on the gas down there in turn three and four. He'll bring him back to the green flag. Shane Taylor now going to battle back on the high side of the racetrack. He drives it in deep. Down on the bottom is Cage Griffin. He's digging down low. Nevin Ganey drifts up in front of cars there. Arthur Conquest has to get on the brakes hard. Four wide down the back straightaway. Stephen Bryant down low. Brandon Elwood right there. Sean Taylor also right there. Cage Griffin looking good on the bottom side of the racetrack. Griffin. 
Down on the bottom side of the track, Shane Taylor up high. Can Taylor hold on to the lead here tonight? Nevin Ganey now making an assault on second spot. He'll take the position over from Cage Griffin. Cage will hang on to the third position. Here comes Arthur Conquest getting around the 12B is Stephen Bryant. Brandon Elwood, last time out, he was your winner. Can he come back to back and win two in a row? Elwood gets around Bryant, but here comes the number 83 of Sean Taylor. Battles back on the high side of the racetrack. Up front, it's Nevin Ganey trying to run down the Taylor Trailer special here tonight. The number 82 of Shane Taylor. on the high side of the racetrack down low. Nevin Ganey's working, but the caution flag is on the speedway. Off on the speedway, the 82 of Shane Taylor. The 07 of Cage Griffin. And the number seven in Nevin Ganey. It's going to be a Delaware double file restart. Flagman looks him over. Green flag in the air. Here we go. Back racing here at Alltech Raceway for the Reeds Metal C Class Lake Model Division. Cage Griffin still down on the bottom side of the racetrack. He likes it down there, but up front for the lead. Shane Taylor's got it. Nevin Ganey's right there. Ganey drives down to the bottom side of the racetrack. He'll drift up in front of the number 82 of Shane Taylor. Taylor back to second. Cage Griffin now side by side with the number 83 of Sean Taylor. Two Taylor trailer five-star plumbing entries out there tonight. Out front, it's the kryptonite by Ganey. Ladies and gentlemen, Nevin Ganey race cars. Setting sail on the field here tonight with driver and pilot Nevin Ganey. That car prepared right down the street. Ganey right out front looking good here tonight with a sizable advantage already on your second place compet competitor of Shane Taylor. Nevin Ganey leads it. Like coming up on lap number eight, Nevin Ganey, the class of the field right now with a 21.607 around All Tech Raceway last time by. 21.3 that time. Shane Taylor in the 22 second bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Taylor, fastest car on the track that time by. That number 83, keep your eyes on him. The number 82 is Shane Taylor hanging on for that second spot. Arthur Conquest up into the fourth position. Cage Griffin back into the fifth. Got Brandon Elwood, Brenton Coots, Tom Smith, Grayson Riley, Casey, Kobe, Stephen Bryant. And the 04 car right there with them, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be Colby Boyette. Colby Boyette, him and his dad both racing here tonight. Nice to have them here with us. Out front still in this one. It's Nevin Ganey. Nevin Ganey starting to come up on the number 79 of Victor Williams. He's coming to us out of Thomasville, Georgia. Victor, nice to have him with us tonight. He's about to go a lap down to your leader, Nevin Ganey. Nevin Ganey hustling the high side of the racetrack around All Tech here. He knows his way around this track. He drops to the bottom side to get around Williams. Back to the top groove is Ganey. Down the back straightaway. Got about a straightaway advantage over second place. Shane Taylor in the number 82. Sean Taylor in third. Arthur Conquest starting the work on Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor in the 83. Conquest in the 78. Conquest drops down. Tries to get a run down low. But Sean Taylor has got the muscle in the number 83 here tonight. Arthur Conquest still trying to make something happen. Cage Griffin right there. Brandon Elwood also there. Out front, it is still all Nevin Ganey in the kryptonite. Nevin Ganey has got that car shaking and baking around All Tech Raceway here tonight. Straightaway advantage over Shane Taylor. 13 laps complete coming up on number 14 in this 20 lap main event here tonight. Uncontested for the Lynn so far is Nevin Ganey. Cars strung out around the half mile here tonight. Shane Taylor in second. 
Arthur Conquest now not giving up on that number 83 of Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor having an outstanding run here tonight in that third position. Can he run down brother Shane? Starting to close in a little bit on Shane Taylor. Sean's got a fast race car here tonight, but not as fast as Nevin Ganey. Nevin Ganey has found a groove around all tech raceway tonight that he likes and he is setting sail on the field, ladies and gentlemen. Five, going to be four laps remaining this time. Hot. 16 laps complete in this one. Nevin Ganey, the class of the field. Shane Taylor, Sean Taylor, Arthur Conquest. How about Brandon Elwood and Cage Griffin right there? Cage Griffin takes it to the high side of the racetrack here flirting with the wall down there, turns one and two, he's up over the berm, he didn't hit the wall too hard, will he continue on? Yes, he continues on in the 07 car, hopefully the car not hurt. Up high, kind of watched the driver, not sure if he's got a flat tire or not. Will that bring out the caution flag? We'll see in just a second. Car still moving through turns, three and four, here comes the leader, man. Colby Boyette drifts up in front of the leader. Nevin Ganey looks like the 07 and Cage Griffin. The front end turned out just a little bit. He'll make the hard right turn into the pits. Tough break for the driver. I thought he had something for him tonight. The driver out of Folkestone, Georgia, makes a hard right into the pits. Colby Boyette slow on the back straight away. And Nevin Ganey around. Colby Boyette and Nevin Ganey. All right, here we go. Yellow light out. We're going to get the green flag. Green flag in the air, in the air here tonight. Nevin Ganey under hard pressure from Shane Taylor. He knows there's a little damage on the car. He can sniff it. Shane Taylor right there. Here comes Arthur Conquest. Conquest got around Sean. Here comes Brandon Elwood to the inside of Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor is going to drive it in deep on the high side of the racetrack. He'll race for that fourth and fifth position right there. Brandon Elwood's got it right now. Sean Taylor's up on the high side. Arthur Conquest down low. Trying to put the move on Shane Taylor. Oh, not quite. Can't clear the number. 82. Here comes Arthur Conquest one more time. Checker flag in the air. In for the win here tonight. Out of Fort White, Florida, Mr. Nevin Ganey. How about it? Shane Taylor hangs off to that second spot. The number 78, Arthur Conquest. In for the fourth position, Nevin Ganey. With two laps to go, Ganey, a little trouble. All right, ladies and gentlemen, he'll make the... racetrack take us through those laps and you had a little altercation out there so take us through that whole deal, deal here tonight uh, we changed everything with the kids sink so we can keep racing feature uh, some bonehead make a bonehead move and put his head on in the wall earlier and uh, a lot of got us again uh, i don't think i think we need to leave it alone there's too many kids around but uh i don't appreciate it and uh, i owe him well, I mean, you know, we called the race from up in the tower. We saw what happened. Um, it's one of them racing deals, I guess, is what they say when it's a bonehead move. So, racing deal. Nevin, you held on for the win here tonight. Some of your cars here tonight, you know, you, you just retooled the 156 down there. It's in victory lane. Tell us a little bit about who makes it possible for Nevin Ganey Racing. And and just uh, thank your sponsor. Uh, first of all, thank God. My wife, my son, Mr. Robin. Uh, it's actually Jason Kite, his car. Uh, appreciate him letting me drive it. Not race cars. Uh, h and Race insane. Engines. Martin Motorsports. Uh, Bill Stein Shocks. Um, Go back there. Everybody that helps me get here every week. You know, tonight we got to witness something pretty special with, with uh, Bubba Rowling, 12 years old, winning his first race here. And I know you I know you know that whole family there. How is that, I mean, isn't that awesome to see that here as a driver? And you've been coming around this racetrack since you were about his age too, weren't you? I remember him in diapers. He's grown to be a good little young man. 
He's got a long, good future ahead of him. Yeah. Nevin, what happened to you in your Southern Clash car here tonight? Uh, more engine problems. Yeah, you've kind of been plagued with engine problems, and next week, you know, two weeks from now, we've got big racing planned. You've been fast the past couple of weeks in the Southern Clash cars. What What is your outlook coming up for this race? Are you going to have a new motor for that car? What's it going to be? Yes, sir. We got a new motor coming. Um, the outlook is just make the, make the race and, and don't blow rods out or get crashed or blow tires out. I mean, that's just the finish. That's, that's going to be a big goal for us. Well, there you have it. C-Class late model winner here tonight, Mr. Nevin Ganey. Give him a round of applause, everybody.